Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, only take you a second and it would be much appreciated. Thank you. What I want to talk to you about today is indentation in text. So that's the space at the top of each paragraph, if you're having one. Now I've been asked, is it easier to indent or even can you indent in Canva um, like you can in Word? Well, the short answer is no. And I'm just going to show you now what it's like to indent in Word and how you can do that using a, a, a few different techniques. So here's a little text and I've done it into three paragraphs. And what you can do is simply put your cursor, you put your cursor at the start, simply press tab. Now, that's not the way to do indentation, not really. You have to do that on every line then. Tab. A lot of people don't know how to set the tab up anyway. So if I just go to the beginning again there, hit the little arrow in the corner of the paragraph box on the layout option. And what we've got here is at the very bottom, in the left hand corner, we've got tabs. Click on tabs and we can set the size of the tab uh, right here. So if we didn't want it to be half an inch, we could go for a quarter of an inch, say 0.25. Now if I click OK and we go back here and I press the tab key, you can see that it's now only half of what that one is. And if I go to here, press the tab key and I've set my indentation with the tab to whatever I want it to be. It's not the best way to go because what you may find is you want to make some changes and you're going to have to really adjust each one as you go. If I just reach the top where the ruler is there, I can pull that top section, that little top ar down arrow to wherever I want it to be. And with the ruler guide on here, I can set it to half an inch. Now what happens is, if I just move those down out of the way so you can see, once I've finished typing the first chapter, I click enter or return, and it will go automatically to the half inch because of this here. If I go back again, if I highlight all of these and then make the adjustment, it takes the top line and indents it. So I can do all my indentations after. But there's also another option. I could go to the paragraph box again, where it says special, I could put first line, click first line, and set the distance I need it, and it's at 0.5 there. So I could just do it that way, press OK. If I go back, if I remove that, go to my paragraph tab, click first line, and set the measurement, click OK. Now then, it's already started. So if I was to, let's say, type, just put in a load of letters for a second. Okay, stop there. And if I was to click enter or return, it would automatically go to a 0.5. So that's another way of doing it. I personally like to use the ruler tab. So what's it like trying to do this in Canva? Well, it's an absolute nightmare. Um, it can be done, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. Well, that's okay. So here's, some, here's the same text in Canva. The only option that we've got at the moment, we're at half an inch here from the gutter. To get a half inch uh, indentation, which is pretty common, if I was to press, or as a tab, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And you see what happened there with the text. If I go back, six, it jumped. It was no longer just a little space. So if I go to the next one, one, two, three, see it jumping. If I pull another line over, that's the half inch indentation we want. But I'm way over here with this. If I try to go back, I'm just behind it. And that's the only option we've got there at this moment. If I go back, I'm right on it with that one. And if I try the next one, Oh, 
I'm right on it with that one. So that's fine. Sometimes you can adjust the text. You can, to try to get this into that size, I could maybe try to letter space, try minus two, and that's spot on. But that's because I've had to squeeze the text, but I'm on that line, and that was the main thing. And you can't really see that on a minus two. You can't notice that difference. But it's got me right on the line. So what other options are there? Well, let me just move this text out of the way a second. And we'll go with this one. I'll just move that margin out of the way for a second. And we'll go back to the beginning. We could separate this top line from the rest of the text. But it's really, really hard to do because it's not the whole of the line. Because if we move that over half an inch, we're going to have to get rid of a something at this end. But let's have a go at it. I'm going to copy this whole box. Put it up the top where we want to start our text. And I'm going to remove from the middle down. Then I'm going to go to this box. And I'm going to remove up to the middle down. Right, okay, so I can move this then up here. I can move this margin back to the half inch. And I can move this text over now by moving the text box. And then move this up to it. So that's one way of guaranteeing every indentation. Now, is that space the same as this space? Well, now, if I clicked on that, if I clicked on this lower section here and added line spacing and moved that up, let's just go for 1.5. Now, this gap here between the top and the bottom is much, much lower. I've still got a problem with the space. So it becomes a problem where I have to use my own judgment and try to, to gauge it. Other than that, I would have to... make a little box to fit between the bottom of say that Y there and if I drag it up to the top of a letter okay so we're about right there so that's the gap inside the 1.5 spacing I have to move this up till it hits that box at the top but it's not much fun doing it that way. But these are the only options we've got. Um, but still, it can be done. Um, you'll see, you'll see videos where people have just gone, yeah, it's super easy. All you do is you, you just go like that. Well, look, like I've said, that's not quite the case. It is okay on one paragraph. When you go to the next paragraph, you may have to start the adjustments like I showed you at the beginning of this part, uh, working with Can Canva. So I hope that helps. It, it's, um, it's not the easiest thing in the world with Canva. It can be done. And hopefully, and I hear, that Canva are working on um, author options with their um, app, which means hopefully unlimited lines or unlimited pages, I should say. And so instead of 150 at the moment, it could be three, four, 500 pages, which would be great. There could be proper um, word processing features, like in Word, maybe not as extensive, but at least being able to indent, being able to, um, to work with a document a lot better when you want to write a book. So hopefully that will, that will happen soon. And in the meantime, these are our options. And um, yeah, keep checking back.